Check this thing out. So this is a Yanmar C25R crawler dump truck. Rubber tracks, got a three cylinder Yanmar diesel engine. I was not in the market for this thing. It popped up on Facebook Marketplace and for a really good price. These things are kind of expensive if you buy one. Of course, it needs work. Uh, it doesn't steer to the right, which means, and, and so this is a manual transmission. It's not hydrostatic with steering clutches. So when it doesn't steer to the right, it means that the left track is not working in this case. When you pull the right lever, the machine stops, meaning that it's, it's disengaging the clutch on the right side, but the clutch on the left side is slipping so it doesn't bring it around. I'm pretty confident that it's just a lever that's out of adjustment. I was messing with it when I went to look at it. So first thing to do is see if we can get it steering. I'm gonna try to do it right on the trailer. I think I can fix this pretty quick and do it in a rainstorm because I guess we're back in monsoon season. I'll put that there so that it will for surely fall on my head. So this is the linkage for the steering clutches. And if you notice, the way these work is it's a two-stage system. This one here, is the steering clutch when you pull that it, it releases the clutch so that there's no drive power to this track the second side is that this applies a brake band stopping it from moving otherwise it would just freewheel and it sort of turns but not really i'm going to move this lever which is the corresponding lever for that side and i'll show you what's going on what should be happening remember that panel i told you was going to fall on my head It just fell on my head. Okay, so here's what should be happening. When I pull this, see there's the first side, that's the clutch pack disengaging. So now there's no power to the right track on this. And then you pull that second one, that's the brake band that stops the track. So you can see there's a difference between levers. Like there's the first lever applied and then right there you see the second lever moving. So a good way to explain that is a two-stage system, we'll say. Oh, and you're here, this one is the clutch, this one is the brake. Remember on the other side, this engaged first, and then the brake follows it up. So watch what happens when I pull this lever. They both move at the same time. So what that's telling me is that the clutch right now is totally disengaged. That would be the first stage. What we're seeing here is the second stage, which is the brake band engagement. That clutch is totally disengaged, which means this track won't spin, which is our problem, hopefully. All right, I have a new theory here. This is the brake band right here. And this one has adjustment. So I'm thinking maybe since this one is tight and it's like pulled up against here, there should be a gap here. If we make this one longer, this gap should get bigger. It should allow this to all rotate back and put the steering clutch back. So I'm gonna loosen this and see what happens. What we wanna see is the gap here between this bolt and this bar get bigger? Now I can kind of get a better look at the linkages and what's going on down here. get these freed up which is gonna be fun I'm gonna work at this for a while and I will be back shortly together spread it apart and it's getting I've been messing it for like 10 minutes it's 
getting a lot easier. Oops. It is freaking miserable rainy out here. All right, I've been messing with this for a while. Uh, I just freed up that linkage. I feel like the seized linkage may have been a problem. I think I don't think there's any way around that. So I'm going to put everything back the way I found it and pull it off the truck and see if it made any difference.
plug back in and I'm going to tighten it because I think that's what I think not tightening the drain plug is what bit my dump truck the old Ford that I had I'm gonna let that drain for a little while. I wanna get all that milk out of the system. You wanna make sure that you lose this in your This one looks smaller. Okay. This is oil. Showing up to the full mark. Let's start it and make sure. Get a little pressure there. Right back up to where it's supposed to be. About halfway up on the hash mark. I want to add a little more than that. To where it's supposed to be so being that this is a gear transmission and the reservoir for the hydraulics this takes a universal high tran fluid which is what i'm putting in And that's right up to what I would say is full. So I'm going to call that good. And I did put the plug back in the bottom.
that's looking pretty nice i did check those final drives both of them have fluid in it uh what i thought was metal flake was actually just some moisture in there so i want to change it i just don't have the fluid right now and they're both full which means they're not leaking so i'm happy to see that all right this pile of logs was from a bunch of work we did on the cabin clearing around it and if they sit here they're just gonna get ruined my mom still burns firewood so i can chunk these up and give them to her she'll burn these things as night logs they are kind of green because they were cut down like less than a year ago but put them in as night logs it'll be it'll work fine for that tank of gas lasted 27 minutes seems like this saw needs a bigger tank other than that it's a great saw except for the one log the puppies took, right? You gonna play with it? No, let's stick. Go get it. Good boy. Alright, let's go deliver this to my mom. Very nice load of firewood.
now pull forward. All right, now put it down. This thing. So this is kind of where that pile ended up. I dumped everything up here. I had started burning brush over there and that pile burned most of the way down, but not all the way. So I want to push all this up into that pile again, get everything burned down really nice. It just rained, so everything's nice and wet, making it, you know, the most fun to try to start. But this stuff should burn pretty good. And it's nice that <clears throat> everything else is wet, you know, so we don't risk starting a forest fire because we're so susceptible to forest fires here in the Northeast. things are starting to happen it's just so wet just not taking off like I was hoping Got Max. What you doing? And there's Mingo. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You see the balls. get this cleaned up so it doesn't look like this all winter.
that is looking a lot nicer. This is just a field out here, so I'm not gonna plant grass. I'm just gonna stay off of this, and like it has no problem growing grass. In fact, it grows grass too well here because I'm constantly mowing it, and it's annoying because I don't do anything with it. Max, what do you think, buddy? Does it look a lot better? Yes? Boy, where's this other one? How many times are you gonna almost get run over, dude? You gotta stay out of the way. That's kind of a steep learning curve if you mess that up, buddy. It's probably rotted and hollow, but it's still pretty cool. Alright, so one thing I want to fix is the way this tailgate works, if you wanted to drop it from the top, you pick this up and then this comes out everything falls down and smashes your toe. This side is missing that little handle thing, so I wanna weld a new one on there so that this is working the way it's supposed to. Why is it still raining? Dude, there is no rain in the forecast. It's so hard to get stuff done when it's raining. It's muddy, it's wet, it's cold, it's annoying.
Amen. That looks a little nicer. That couch, I don't even why that couch is here. Um, I just kind of tucked it out back there, out of sight, out of mind. When I have enough to take to the dump, I'll take that out there. You could burn that, but that really should go to the dump. What you doing, Max? You guys are funny. You guys are funny. Go play. Go play. Go play. Go play. Go play. Let's go, boys. All right. Yes. You guys are something else. Well guys, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up with that. This thing has been super useful. What a cool piece of equipment to have. It's so versatile. You know, it might be cool in the future to try to do some capability tests with this thing and just see what it's really capable of. I've taken it fully loaded with dirt up a moderately steep hill. I mean, I go up it with everything else I own and without any problems. It's just cool to see what this thing's capable of. Overall, I was really not in the market for this. Like I said, it just popped up for a really good price. Um, I'll probably try to, you know, flip it and make a small profit. That's what kind of helps keep these uh, interesting purchases rolling is when I can make a couple dollars and then buy something else. As always, if you watch this far into the video, I really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out. It's a lot of fun. I have fun making these videos. Let me know what you guys think this thing is worth down in the comments. Let me know. I'm, I'm curious. I have a general idea, uh, but, you know, I'm always curious what you guys think. That's it for this one. I'll catch you on the flippity flop.